A pleasant day to everyone. I am Alisa C. Vianco from Angeles University Foundation in Angeles City, Philippines. And on behalf of my co-authors, I am pleased to present our study assessing the confidence behavior of fully vaccinated individuals in Pampanga toward COVID-19 vaccines. Confidence behavior in the context of this study emphasizes trust in the vaccine in terms of adherence to public health guidelines implemented by authorities to minimize virus transmission as well as the individual's confidence in the vaccine's protection against contracting the COVID-19 virus. Since the launch of global vaccination efforts, more countries have loosened their health protocols and opened their borders, gradually returning life to what it was before the pandemic. Despite the encouraging news of COVID-19 vaccines, health agencies continued to urge the public to observe health protocols and remain cautious until the pandemic no longer possesses a substantial risk to individual and public health. Therefore, as the number of fully vaccinated people in the country increased day by day, this study sought to assess their confidence behavior in public health guidelines following vaccination. This was a descriptive, quantitative, cross-sectional study and the survey tool acquired ethics approval from the university's Ethics Review Board. A total of 384 fully vaccinated individuals from the general population of Angeles City and Pampanga voluntarily participated in the study, answering questions about their demographics, medical history, and confidence behavior on a 14-item Likert scale. Overall, this study found no significant difference in the confidence behavior of fully vaccinated respondents based on the COVID-19 vaccine brand they received, implying that the brand had no effect on their dining, social distancing, or wearing of face masks attitudes. Meanwhile, demographics such as age, gender, geography, education, employment status, and priority group as defined by the Philippines Department of Health did not show significant differences on the majority of variables assessed but with a few notable exceptions. For instance, age, employment, and priority group all had a substantial effect on the respondents' social distancing behavior in public spaces with people who do not live in their homes, as well as their wearing of face mask attitude when working outside the home. Furthermore, this study revealed that fully vaccinated respondents were inclined to encourage COVID-19 vaccination to others since they were confident they would not become infected with the virus and would be protected from its serious side effects. In conclusion, even if COVID-19 vaccines become more readily available, comprehensive pandemic management and containment will still require continued adherence to COVID-19 safety precautions to fulfill the nation's goal of herd immunity. As more people become fully vaccinated, it is recommended that future researchers expand the scope of the study as this was limited to a specific province due to COVID-19 constraints and consider the effect of booster shots on public confidence behavior. That concludes my presentation. Thank you for listening.